In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Linear Dimension Tool and the Continue Dimension Tool to add dimensions to the cottage drawing. The first dimension that I want to place would be a dimension from the front left corner of the cottage to the midpoint between the left door jam and the right door jam because we dimension to the centers of doors and windows in architectural drawings. Here's how I would do that. Select the linear tool and then pick the front corner. Next, hold down the shift key on the keyboard and right click your mouse and select mid between two points. This is an object step snap setting that allows you to pick the midpoint between two selected points. So my two selected points are going to be the left door jam and the right door jam. And then I'm going to move away from the building and pick with my mouse where I want that dimension to be placed. So you can see the linear dimension began at this corner and went to the midpoint between the left door jam and the right door jam. So this was placed with a linear dimension option. And next I'm going to go and pick on continue. What happens next is a new dimension starts where the linear, linear dimension left off and I'm going to place this one to the center point of that window or the midpoint of that window. I'm going to pick there. I'm going to stay in the continue demand, command and I'm going to pick on this midpoint. I'm going to select the midpoint of this window and I'll end by picking at this endpoint and pressing enter. And you can see it created a single row of dimensions the first one was placed using linear, but all the others were placed after I picked on the continue tool. And remember, I didn't have to restart the continue tool. Once I had picked it, it continued in that until I pressed enter. Next, I want to put an overall width dimension in here. So I'm going to pick on the linear tool again. And I could go, if I wanted, I could go to the endpoint and the endpoint like this, or I could even snap to where the tick mark intersects the dimension line. I'm going to pick here. I'm going to pick on the opposite side over here and pick at the uh, t uh, tick mark. Move away from that and pick. And there's my overall distance. Now I would like to also dimension up the left hand side. And the way I'm going to do that is start again with a linear. Select at this point. Go to the midpoint. Move away from the object. And pick where I want that dimension to be and then go directly to continue, pick on continue and this time I'm going to pick on uh, the corner of that wall right there and then I'll pick at the corner of the building right here and then hit escape and you can see I have a single row of dimensions running vertically and I want to put an overall uh, length on this so I'm going to go back to linear and I'm going to snap at my tick mark and I'm going to snap at this tick mark and move out a little ways the same distance that I moved uh, along the front of the house and get out there and pick and at that point I have the dimensions along the left side of my house in the front I could do the same thing up the right hand side and I could follow the same technique along the top of the cottage to finish this